All right, guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Sergio. We have a Icon i40L. This is the Eco model, so less upgrades, but the same as the other i40s, just you know, minus the LEDs, a little bit less powerful of a motor, but ultimately, awesome cart, great cart. Uh, today, we're gonna be upgrading the headlights. Currently, we have these basic halogen lights, which I mean, if you know anything about these carts or you have this cart and you're looking to upgrade these, these lights do absolutely nothing for you at night. Uh, found these on Amazon, pretty cheap, uh, about 19 bucks, great reviews. They do say fog lights on them, so not sure about that, but I did match them up to the same bolts that are in there, which I'll show you how to access those and ultimately change these out, okay? Okay, I wanted to give you guys a little before and after. So right now it's still daylight out, so there's a little bit of light in the garage, but ultimately this is what the lights look like. You can see from here, you know, they look somewhat decent, not overly bright, but you know, standard headlights, nothing special. All right, let's just make sure this is recording, it is. Okay, so starting with just accessing the headlights, there's two ways to do it. One, you can do from this top panel, which I personally find to be the easiest. And then the second, if you have a non-lifted model, you won't have these fenders. And then there's just some pull tabs in the bottom of this fender well. You pull down and then you'll have access to these. I think that's a lot of work. You risk damaging uh, the little not buttons, but the panels that are in there, the little fasteners that hold it secure on there. So I'd really rather not touch that. This is so simple. Even if you have uh, the non-eco model with the dash cluster, this comes out the exact same. You just pull up on it. There's a bunch of little plugs that pull here. Make sure you clear this, slide it back, pull it out. Pretty simple. Uh, then you have access in here. I don't have a dash cluster, so I've got all these pins free, but if you had it, these would be connected, and of course, you would need to disconnect these. Uh, fairly simple as well, too. Just little pins. You pop them out, slip them out, move everything over to the side. All right, guys. I want to show you where the headlights are. So this is just going straight in. That, I've already unseated the rubber cover that protects it from, like, dirt and water. Uh, so that's why you see it sitting like that. Normally, yours will be covering it. But that's the headlight right there. It's really accessible. Uh, you twist this one, I believe, to the right, and then it pops right out. And this black and red cord that's coming underneath it, it's extremely long and it's very easy to pull like towards you to work on. Super simple. Yeah, once you uh, get down there and you grab the headlights, you twist one clockwise, the other one counterclockwise, they pop right out, it's really simple. And then those cords are pretty long, so you will be able to pull the light basically all the way up to your hand right in here to work on it and pull it out. So don't be scared about reaching down there and you know possibly pulling a wire or something. They're very long, you have plenty of room to work with once you get it un um, unlatched. All right guys, we did a little angle change to make it a little bit easier. For you guys to see what I'm doing in here, uh, just like in the last clip I showed you, we have the lights right here on the right and right here on the left. I'm gonna reach in there, pop it out, pull it, show you how to disconnect it, and ultimately we'll get to uh, reinstalling it. So let's get it out. So you reach back there. This one we twist away from us and it pops out. Super, super simple. Just like that. Again, lots of room on these lights. Tons of room. Try not to tug on the cords themselves at all, but lots of rooms to pull this out. Pretty straightforward. Uh, to take these off, you got a clip here on the right. You got a clip here on the left. It might be a bit snug. Keep in mind, this is off-road. And, you know, these vehicles are meant to be in water, dirt. So these little ceilings, or I guess you would call it a gasket, is meant to be either protected from water, dirt getting inside there to make sure your lights are lasting a good time. All 
All right, guys, again, we've got these a la lightings. You know, they say LEDs. They are the A81s, just like the ones we just pulled out. I did open these up prior to starting this video to take a good look at them and see what they look like. They look freaking awesome. You know, I mean, ultimately that doesn't really matter, but they look great. Same size, same kind of threading that needs to go back in there. I did want to point out that these are the same length as well. So you don't really need to worry about, here, so I can show you a good idea. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, these are the same length, so, so you don't need to worry about them maybe being too large. These did look a little bit bigger when I first got them, so that had me a little concerned. Um, however, they're the exact same. I mean, everything about them is the same except for hopefully the quality of light we get. Uh, installation's really simple. Just gonna reverse what we did here and snap it back on, just like that. Pretty straightforward, actually. Keep make sure it's nice and snug. Make sure these are connected. Got a clip here and a clip on that side. Alrighty, here is the comparison. So you can see the right side is definitely a much more solid beam in comparison to the right. You see it kind of dies off a bit and I actually think it's bleeding over a little bit from the LED here. So I'd imagine if I had this other light completely out, we would just see a beam cut right here. Front, I mean, it's 100% a bright white LED. It looks awesome in my opinion. I think it looks so much better. I'm excited to see it at night later when we go for our evening cruise and I have both of these installed. I'll definitely show you it at night. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get the driver's side installed here. Do a little time lapse for some music in the background. Don't really wanna talk too much more. I like to talk. Um, yeah, we'll get into this. All right guys, here's the final result. As I showed originally, now that beam is consistent all the way across, looks great. Here goes the front view, super bright. Excited to give you guys a night uh, routine. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this wrapped up. Ultimately, this probably took a total of 10 minutes, a little bit longer because I was recording everything, uh, but super fast, super easy. I think it's a really cheap upgrade that, you know, time will tell here in a couple hours once it gets dark out, but I really think it makes a difference on these carts. 19 bucks, you get some good visibility out of these. Totally worth it. <laughs>